Welcome to part two of my reaction to New World Man from Rush. Just listen to that all the way through. That is part one. Link for that is in the description below. We're going to break down the track, just kind of talk about it for a few minutes. Um, first, I got to say, you know, that this album is... It's really something else for me because I've been enjoying a lot of the Rush stuff, you know, listening to it and doing these reactions. This album has everything that I like. Um, you know, I I enjoy Rush's longer songs. Like, you know, 2112 for me was just, when I listened to that, it was like, wow, that's absolutely phenomenal. But, you know, you don't always have that kind of time to sit down and listen to an epic song. Sometimes you want a shorter song that you can just kind of have going. And this album is hitting that box for me. Um, like this track, under four minutes long, nothing about it that just blows your mind. Nothing, you know, super... Um, you know, none of this fantasy stuff, none of this sci-fi kind of stuff. But it's a really good song. So you guys know how I talk about Alex Lifeson and his arpeggios and stuff, and I, I seem to point it out quite a bit. This track is a perfect showcase of that. The beginning especially. And then he's got this perfect guitar tone that's just kind of like it just rings. It's got this chiminess to it. And the way he's playing his, his chords is just, it's so, oh man, it's so full. It's so big. It's so intentional. It's just majestic. It's absolute perfection. And I just, I love that so much. The other thing I love, love, loved about this track is... Getty Lee's bass playing, it's such a fat sound and really mixed kind of up in the front on this track, and it pops a lot, and just the way he's doing his runs and his tone and this sort of stuff, just really holding down a killer groove. Um, you know, probably the same thing that could be said about 99% of their tracks, but some tracks it just kind of sticks out a little bit more, and this is definitely one of those tracks where I'm just kind of getting this feel that's like, wow, that is just really special, really special. And Neil just holding it down and he just, he'll come in at the perfect times with just these amazing fills. And sometimes it's, it's not even a fill. It'll just be like, sometimes he'll just hit like, you know, one tom, you know, or, or you know, two beats or just one snare real hard. And it just like cracks and it gets your attention. Not because it's, something that's so out of this world from a technical standpoint, but something that's so well thought out from a songwriting standpoint, it just is like, oh man, that was so simple. It was just a little thing to kind of get the attention and just make me go, wow. And I, I love that. And, um, you know, there are little changes here and there. And, and the way Alex plays these chords, it goes from these arpeggios to these really kind of um, choppy staccato chords just for like one bar though you know a couple chords and it's it's kind of like bordering on that um, little bit of a reggae feel not entirely that's why I say bordering on but it's cool I I love the new direction I love I love the synthesizers I love the guitars with these different effects I like the you know more condensed songs um which isn't to say that I don't like the old stuff, but, you know, bands bands evolve. Their sounds change. They, uh, you know, they every band kind of goes through that phase. And they should, and it's good, because it gives you, it gives you different um, ideas, helps you reach a different audience. It kind of, it keeps you from getting stagnant and doing the same thing over and over again. And in no way am I comparing myself to Rush because um, I would just be foolish and dumb. But I've even done that with my own music. I've gone from, um, you know, I used to play a lot of blues and I used to play a lot of pop rock. And then I um, I went through this phase where I was playing a lot of, of really heavy kind of detuned stuff. And, 
you know, I obviously have the freedom to just kind of do whatever I want because I don't have an audience to appeal to, really. So I'm glad when bands don't get sucked into this, like, oh, this is our sound, and if we change it, people are going to dislike it. And I think Rush always kind of just did what they want to do. And that's so commendable because it's it's totally different. Like this album, say, is totally different from, you know, earlier albums. But it's still, to me, it just, it totally sounds like Rush. It sounds like, you know, when you break it down to its core pieces, it, it sounds like everything that I love. And I really, really enjoy it. Anyway, you guys, a simple song, fantastic song, incredible playing all the way around. Loved the uh, the vocal, like the melody on the on the vocal, especially like during the chorus. Um, just it, a beautiful track in a way, um, and simple but but big in there. And yeah, I I really like that. For me, so far, you guys, that's a contender. Um, for most enjoyable first listen, you know, it's, it's not really fair cause I'm always listening. So sometimes like the next track's always better cause it's fresher. Um, but definitely a contender for like, wow, from a first listen point of view, that was just really, really cool. Anyway, this album has been absolutely insane. Loving it so much. Um, two tracks left. I don't really want the album to end, but there's many more. So I know there's going to be a lot more good music. Anyway, you guys, that is going to wrap up this video. Um, thank you so much for watching. If you would, please leave a like, leave a comment. Uh, love to hear from you. Um, yeah, like I said, two more tracks, you guys. And I know you'll be there for them. So I really appreciate you watching. And I will see you in future videos.